progress that's happening in our area. Well, the good news is that over the last 12 hours or so, we've had a lot of moisture coming to Central Texas. And when you have the higher relative humidities, your grass fire chance goes down. So that's good news. Okay. We were dry the last few days, that's why they put out that statement, but now that fire risk going back down, it may be back up later on this weekend, mm -hmm. but before then we'll have the chance for some rain, which will really help our atmosphere as we continue to try to get moisture back into it. You can see the Exco Eagle Eye and Copper's Cove, it's shaking a little bit. The reason being is because you have winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. This is what's pumping that moisture in, and that'll continue through the day today with all that moisture in place. We're only starting in the 50s and the 60s today, folks. That's how much warmer we are compared to yesterday. Yesterday, we started in the 20s. So that wind continues through the day today, but it's going to be one of those moist winds, really bringing in that moisture. And we'll see winds continue at about 15 to 25 miles per hour today. So if you're driving out there, both hands on the wheel. If you don't like your hair blowing around, wear a hat or uh, put it in an updo, whatever you have to do. Temperatures in the 60s, lower 70s later on today. I think we'll top out at about 72 with a 30% chance of an isolated shower or two, especially over eastern portions of central Texas. Although right now, nothing on radar, we still have clouds streaming overhead, and these are mid-level clouds, and today will be more of a mostly cloudy day. The reason being is because our next storm system is coming on shore. That's really pumping all of this clouds right over our area, and eventually that'll lead into rain chances, not only today, but also into tomorrow. We've got about a 20 to 30% chance of rain today, 70% chance of storms tomorrow, and then we should be drying on out for the weekend. But the storms that come tomorrow could have a little bit of a bite to them. So the severe, the potential for severe weather has continued to rise for Central Texas, and we've now pushed that enhanced risk closer to the I-35 corridor with a slight risk going all the way into our western counties from Gulfway over to San Saba. It's what we're going to be worried about most with these thunderstorms is the potential for a few of them to produce some 75 mile per hour winds, especially as they get east of I-35. Isolated tornado can't be ruled out, neither can some hail, but the bigger threat will be that wind as a line of thunderstorms should work over central Texas. Let me show you how this plays out on future track. We could see a few showers later on today. Again, just an isolated shower or two east of I-35. That'll continue on into the morning tomorrow as well. It says we get into the afternoon that we'll have to watch off to the west as that cold front approaches should rapidly form some thunderstorms out towards Hamilton, Lampasas, Burnett. That should form into a line and work across central Texas. And if you notice these Boeing segments right there, that's why we're worried about the potential for some of those really gusty winds, especially over our eastern counties in the night tomorrow night. Good news is most of this should clear out by midnight, and that means your weekend will be pretty quiet. But go get some good rain out of it. Inch, maybe two inches out of the system is something that we do need here in central Texas. So maybe we can trade some of the severe weather for some of that rain. We'll hope for not a lot of severe weather, but still the potential's there, so we'll be watching it for you. Today, highs get into the mid-70s. And as you take a look at that 10 day forecast, we'll start off in the 60s tomorrow as well. Mid 70s tomorrow in the afternoon. But look at those 50s and 60s for the weekend, guys. Thanks, John.